Takashi Snitch Nine is the luckiest motherfucker on earth. I mean, what are the chances that this goddamn Corona thing came around around the time where he was in jail and just about to get out? And, you know, he gets out. I mean, he got to snitch and got his uh, time reduced like crazy. I'm telling you right now, I, I know this little young ass generation, they, they don't give a fuck about snitching or not snitching. He's going to get his money. He's going to put out some music. People are going to click on it and listen to it just for the, just for that fact. Just to, just to hear what the fuck he got to say. His interview. Can you imagine his first fucking interview? God damn, that's just going to go through the goddamn roof. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a breakfast club. Not in person. It's going to be through the phone or, you know, uh, FaceTime or some shit. But God damn, it's actually going to put up numbers. Yeah, he, I mean, given the circumstances, man, given the, what he had to uh, work with, he, he fucking won. In the most dirty, underhanded kind of way, but that motherfucker won. You know, anybody who's been in jail, it's bad, but it ain't that motherfucking bad. You know what I mean? You, you read, work out, eat good. You know, educate yourself, whatever. You know, you, you mature in that bitch for sure. And when you're a celebrity, whether you ask for a uh, protective custody or not, they have to, they have this one thing called involuntary protective custody, where you only you don't even got a goddamn choice. If you're rich, I think if you're rich and you're or and or you're famous, you got that involuntary protective custody. Well, they'll, they'll lock you up by yourself. You don't got to deal with the main line, the general population, all that bullshit. So it's it's pretty easy time and shit. So yeah, he's gonna get, he's gonna get money. He's gonna get a lot of attention. He's gonna get a lot of deals. It's these kids and they're gonna listen to every fucking word he gotta say. And I'm gonna be one of them. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be just what the fuck does he have to say? It's gonna be some funny ass shit. I tell you that much. He's a little cocky ass shit talker. It's gonna be hilarious. But I wonder what rappers are gonna refuse to uh, work with him. You know what I mean? Based on that no snitching code bullshit, they actually don't even fucking mean anything anymore, but some swear by it though. But, no, no, that's my little two cents, my little opinion. Um, yeah, this, this ain't, he's still gonna have a career. Anybody gonna give a fuck. All his enemies are locked up for a long ass goddamn time. He damn sure ain't gonna live in his neighborhood. He ain't going back to his hood. I seriously doubt that. But knowing how cocky he is, he'll fucking run and go back with a shitload of security, but he'll go back. But yeah, I'm, um, I'm interested to see what's gonna happen after this shit. Little lucky motherfucker. Alright, y'all, that's it for me. Stay safe and stay healthy out there. And never snitch.